Hey guys and girls on YouTube. So I'll give you a little bit of an update here on the truck. Did some modifications or upgrades on it. Uh, if you notice the front tires no longer have this stupid inward camber. I put the 95 and newer, well it's actually 93 I believe in newer. Uh, arms on the front. Uh, and then I also did the newer brakes. And then now it's got dual piston calipers. So I'm fighting with this truck. They said it's got a Explorer 88 in the rear and the brake pedal's really kind of low. So I got the original proportioning valve underneath. And then I also got a proportioning valve from a, like a Buick uh, Park Avenue or Century or LeSabre. I'm trying to get more pedal. And it isn't happening. It's still really, really low. So it's got a new master. Next thing is I'm wondering maybe the booster isn't bad, but it doesn't have any air leaks or anything. So, but anyways, yeah. So I put the newer arms on the front and it, it's really seemed to help out quite a bit. Uh, here's the part numbers. This is all from Auto Value where I work. That's one. And then the other one would be an 89-01170B would be the other side. And then that's the rotor number. I don't have a pad number. I think it was PSC 857. This is the part number. But yeah, it's, I said now it doesn't have the stupid stance. The steering wheel's kind of turned. I was working on the steering shaft. Yeah, and everyone said, oh, it's an easy bolt-in upgrade. Yeah, my butt it is. You got to use, which I didn't really realize, I guess it's my fault. I should have did more research. So obviously use the the newer arms for like 90. Mine came off of 95. They came off my other Ranger because now my other Ranger has another frame underneath it, and it's got independent front suspension. So you got to use the bars from a 95 and... The I beams, so you can't really see them. It's pretty dark in here, but those are the bars from a '95. I was able to use the original. I can't think of what they're called now. These bars, trailing arms, we we'll call them. I was able to use those off the truck, and then I was going to do the update too, where you put four-wheel drive ball joints in it because the top ball joint's a little bit longer. I mean, it's like that much. But I'm comfortable with the way they are. So it's got that camber caster offset bushing in there. And there's still, I mean, the, the ball joint is that much below. That little bit of grab ain't going to make that much of a difference, I don't think. So and then obviously yeah, you got to use the newer Ranger rotors and calipers, which now they're dual piston. And I got to see I got to paint them there because they're starting to rust ready, which sucks. And I didn't know either that you have to use the other brake lines from a 95. So I just took the brake lines from the 85. You don't know if you can really see them back in there. My camera doesn't want to focus. That's the original holes from the 85. I just bent it there. Bent it there. It ain't leaking. And it's still straight and flowing. So, But yeah. So far, I have I only got maybe 10, 15 miles on it with the update. But it drives way better down the road. So, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated a little bit more on it. A little modifications and junk I've been doing to it. Next thing is, is I want to get a limited slip for the rear. Because the one wheel peel, a one wheel tire fire isn't any fun. I want to have a two wheel peel. So, that's the next update. So, thanks guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe.